Okay, now I'm going to show you how we clean the pump up. That's how you hook the water up and turn it on. Reducer tied up so it doesn't fall as we drove here. First thing I do, I want to blow all the concrete out that's left over in the hopper, so. First we had a full hopper. Once you empty the hopper out, you're going to turn on your water. Open up the bottom. And I always like to run it in reverse and start sending water into the front of the hopper. Running in reverse. Just to start cleaning out the cylinder, son. Spraying out the inside. Hey guys, back in. Part two of cleaning out the hopper. We got the grate cleaned. Now we're gonna start cleaning off the auger. All the harder to reach places on the inside of the pump. Most important thing is making sure everything gets cleaned off properly and out of the hard to reach areas because it will start to build up on the bolts and around your auger and stuff like that. And then you can get chunks that'll kind of fall in and they can mess up your pumping, plug up your hoses. Push out of the hole. 
I mean, it's close. Now I'll take the hose, spray it down in the actual cylinder. I know it's kind of hard to see. You can get the extra concrete out. Very important to get all that out. That can cause a lot of problems if you don't get it cleaned out. I'll spray inside that one. I'll run it in reverse. Just about to flip. Perfect timing. Give the auger a little rotate to give yourself some more room in there. And then you spray out the other cylinder. again until you have clear, clean water flowing out of your pistons.